Okay, today we're going to be looking at the quotient rule. So, <coughs> previously we did the um, product rule of differentiation. Today we're going to be looking at thing how to differentiate functions of the, that look like this. So a quotient where you're dividing um, one function by another. Now, we can we could uh, we could do it like this. We could rewrite it as and then apply the product rule. Um, or we can consider y is equal to some function u uh, divided by function v where u equals x squared minus 5 and v is equal to 2x plus 1. And then we get our quotient rule. So our quotient, quotient rule is if y is a f some function u divided by some function y, d by dx u over v is equal to the function v multiplied du by dx minus function u, the v by dx, divided by v squared. So, the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator all divided by the denominator squared. <coughs> so let's do some examples of this. Now when you're doing quotient rule examples, you're going to be having to manipulate um, some nasty fractions, um, just to warn you. So let's start off with our example we just talked about. So, um, d by dx is going to, of u over v, will be v du by dv, dx minus u dv by dx over v squared, where u is x squared minus 5 and v is... 2x plus 1, and we'll just do du by dx here is going to be 2x, and dv by dx is equal to 2. So let's slot things in. So we've got our denominator first, which is 2x plus 1, multiplied by our derivative of the numerator, which is over here is going to be 2x minus our numerator which is x squared minus 5 multiplied by a derivative of our denominator which is 2 all over 2x plus 1 squared or denominator squared so we will expand and um, tidy it all up so that's going to give us 4x squared plus 2x minus 2x squared. Um, so this is going to be a minus here. It's going to be 5. Minus 5 times 2 is 10. Um, the minuses will cancel, so it's going to be plus 10 all over 2x plus 1. Squared, let's tidy this up. Well, that's going to become 2x squared plus 2x plus 5. We can take a 2 out and have x squared plus x plus 5 all over 2x plus 1 squared. And can't really tidy that up any further. Um, 
let's do another one that's going to be a bit more tricky with a bit more um, playing about with um, the, 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 the fraction to make it nice and tidy. Um, so we, if we want to find the derivative of y equals x plus 2 cubed over square root of x minus 1. So this time u is going to be x plus 2 cubed. v is going to be square root of x minus 1. And um, so let and d by dx of u over v is going to be um, v du by dx minus u dv by dx over v squared. So let's find out what u du by dx will be. B. Um, so that's going to give us, so we'll take the 3 down here and then the derivative of in here is just going to be um, 1 and then we'll have x plus 2 and that turns into a 2. V we can rewrite as being x minus 1 to the power of a half. So the v by dx will be, well the half is going to come down here. Again, the derivative of the inside bit is 1. And so it'll be x minus 1 here, and then that'll be minus a half. Now let's slot everything into our dy by dx. So we've got our v which is x minus 1 times the u by dx which is going to be which is 3x plus 2 squared minus then we've got u which is x plus 2 cubed multiplied by half x minus 1 to the minus a half um, all over v squared which will just give us x minus 1. <coughs> so that then gives us 3x squared oh, no, it's not squared 3 x plus 2 squared on the square root of x minus 1 minus and we've got x plus 2 cubed over 2 x minus 1 all over x minus 1. So let's sort out this fraction bit here. So we'll have 2 times 3 is 6, x plus 2 squared, then this times this will just give us x minus 1, minus x plus 2 cubed, all over 2x minus 1, and then that's all going to be divided by um, x minus 1. Now, if we tidy this up, I'm going to have to write it up here. Let's just. That's all going to be equal to. So, um, 6x plus 2 squared x minus 1. minus x plus 2 cubed over, and this will come down here, 2 and half 
plus 1 will be x minus 1 to the 3 over 2. And then we can tidy this all up a bit more by, um, let's just, I'll write it up here. <coughs> so we can take x plus 2 out. Um, we can take x plus 2 squared out and then we'll have 6x minus 1 minus x plus 2 and that would then come down to x plus 2 squared and then Rearranging, sort of opening the brackets, rearrange, simplifying this down, you'd get 5x minus 8. Um, so just done that working there. So the answer to this then would be, putting that back in, x plus 2 squared 5x minus 8 over 2x minus 1, 3 over 2. Um, I just want to <coughs> remind you of just a little thing with fractions. So say you have a fraction A over B divided by C over D. That's the same as saying A over B times D over C. Which is how we took this and got it to this. Um, so that's just something just to remember because that's the kind of thing you're going to be having to use quite a lot with these um, the quotient rule questions because they're some of the working out is going to be quite some of the the tidying up to get to your final answer is going to be um, a bit involved with lots of different steps um, so just to take your time um, if you need to do extra steps of working so you don't get yourself into a muddle do so um and just yeah just take your time with them so i hope that helps